Hey, good morning to you all. Hello, how are you? Good to have you here. Uh, happy Tuesday. Yes, I finally got the day right. Happy Tuesday to you all. Welcome back to uh, Felsbrunn. I am Farmer Min, along with uh, Go Kart Chucky here somewhere uh, up, up in his farm. Uh, I, big changes here on the farm. Uh, we have some things going on. I'll kind of get you updated as we go, so I don't just spend the whole time talking. Um, right now, I, I did. I, I maxed out the loan. I went down to the bank this morning. I talked to Jeff. I said, buddy, you just, just max it out for me, man. I got, I got plans. I got things to do. So he did. So that's why we're sitting at $601,000 as, as we go right now. Um, I bought a new cedar. I bought the, uh, Vodderstad here, the six meter one. Um, as you saw from the clip, I worked all night long trying to get that field planted with the Agrobaz 3 meter. It just took forever. Uh, Go Kart Jockey came down and looked at it and said, hey, I kind of want that thing. So we agreed on a price of 14500 So he's going to come and pick that up sometime today. Um, and as you can see over here, uh, we didn't get the whole field done. We only got part <laughs> half of it done. So the one half is, is growing up overnight, um, and the other half is not. Um, so we kind of got a dilemma. Uh, I, I tried to get it done and it just didn't work. Um, so we're going to finish this up. Step one of the day is to finish this up. Um, I had seeding options, but when you figure everything all out, um, I was worried about, uh, the fact that of cultivation and, um, stuff like that. So there was no perfect scenario that I could really do. And I kind of like this cedar. It's, it, I think it's going to be better for us. Um, the Agron is a nice cedar. Don't get me wrong. But it skipped places because it's so narrow. Uh, the one thing about it, though, I got to tell you, it, um, I, I did this whole field all the way, you know, the half of this field, and I didn't even use half of the uh, tank of seed. So it's, um, that is quite impressive. I don't know if that's a glitch or whatever. But uh, step one for the day is to get this thing fired up. Um... Uh, and we're going to get the rest of this field planted. And then we have to go over next door and get, uh, let's just see, let's just set a nice line here. And get the um, the other field planted as well. But I want to get these two fields done. And then we need to do some uh, a herbicide application on them. That's fine and dandy. The big thing was is if I bought another cedar that I kind of was interested in, uh, you know, this one cultivates as it seeds. So the weeding goes away then and uh, life is pretty good in that department so we'll just have to kind of go along with it it was kind of a mess up i shouldn't have started planning it i thought i could get it all done but i just ran out of time as you can see this is a big field uh, and i did that whole thing with that three meter and finally uh, it hit midnight and um, that's what happened but um, i was going to get rid of it anyways and uh, golf cart jockey just so happened to say hey i'm kind of interested in that thing so it's okay it is what it is um we're a little behind in the uh planting department but uh, we'll get caught up today that's kind of my thing you know it, it it takes a lot of work when you're figuring out weeding and liming and plowing and li liming is that a word i don't know um but it is and uh, we'll get the field squared away today and then we can look at other things such as uh accusation accus <laughs> accusations um cows horses uh, stuff like that. So, um, oh, hang on there, buddy. Um, I don't need to go all the way to the end. I'm just going to kind of, it's, it's, it's a tricky thing here when we got half the field uh, already growing. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's going to be what it is. Uh, nothing we can do about that. Um, you know, I did, I did some headlands down, <laughs> down here too. And, uh, so I thought I was doing pretty good until the clock just kept ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking. David and I worked hard. David and I both worked um, very hard, um, is what it is. I'm going to run over a little bit, but I just want to make sure that I get everything, uh, try to get the best yield I can off of this. And I'll probably just go around here. I think I'll probably just make a one loop around the field. Um, that'll work. I'm going to destroy some here, but um, that's okay. It'll grow back. It will grow. Regrow. So that's kind of the main plan right here. And, and I like this one better because it's got a wider width so you don't get the skips. I mean, it kind of it kind of uh, flexes more. It's not so rigid. So that's kind of nice. And that'll work out nice. Plus, it's got the cultivation thing. So I, don't, I can just go right over these weeds, man. Um, you know, that's a good question. I don't know if the planters do that. If you, if you use a planter, 
Does it also take care of the weeding like this one would that can cultivate? I, I have to experiment with that. I don't know. Uh, because that's the other planter that I want is that 30,000 uh, Vodderstead um, temple. That, that would be a dandy one to do some uh, row crop with. But um, ah, enough blabbing on. So that's, that's kind of where we sit. Uh, Golf Cart Jockey will pick that up. We're going to get this field planted and the next field planted. That is our goal uh, for the early morning hours. I'm going to start this. I think David's going to come out later on. And he's going to take over because um, the next thing I want to work on is uh, that uh, cultivator, that Agromaz cultivator that I have, or the disc carol. That thing's junk. Um, it skips and it slides all over the place. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that and replace and get a new cultivator. Now, granted, I don't need a cult. Well, I, actually, I would need a cultivator with a row crop planter. So I got to invest in one of those anyways. I've been kind of looking online, and I'm not, I haven't really decided what would be the best course of action there. Um, but we'll find, we'll find something. Um, but yeah, we're finally getting underway here. Oh, we got lots to do. We have lots to do today, and it's going to be a busy, busy day, and I'm going to try to get this done. But uh, try to get things squared away, and then we can kind of just settle in and take a deep breath and say, okay, now, now what? Um, but fields, the, the field work comes first because um, we will have to do something about the weeding um, in the fields that are already in the part of the field that's already growing. Um, we got wheel, weeds growing in there. So we'll make the best of it. I'll see you after a little bit. Um, hope you're all having a great uh, Tuesday. Hope the start of your week week is going well. Uh, sincerely appreciate you being here. Um, it's an absolute pleasure. But uh, we'll see you here in just a little bit. All right, David showed up. He is uh, busy planting. He's going to get that done in no problem. Uh, no problem at all. Now, I have the um, 7230 here with the Agramaz cultivator. I'm going to take this down to the store. Um, I talked to Big Papa C down at the dealership this, a little bit ago. Uh, called him up and said, hey, I need a deal. And he said, I have the perfect deal for you, Farmerman. So that looks good. We're going to head down to the store and uh, made a few changes in this department. Kind of going to do a little swap. Going to do a little swap. That'll be okay. Um, I was doing a little research, actually, between the difference between the uh, 7,000 series and the 8,000 series uh, R tractors. Um... You can actually get, you know, a uh, 7,000 series with more horsepower than the introduction 8,000 series with much less price. Hey, here's a golf cart jockey. Uh, wait, what has he got? He's got his Mahindra. He, at least he finally found his Mahindra. And he's got uh, boxes. Boxes. What's he doing with the... Oh, I bet he's got eggs. Hey, I bet he's got eggs. I wonder if he found... <laughs> is he lost? I think he doesn't know where to go. Uh... There you go, golf cart jockey. Uh, I wonder if he found the uh, box of eggs that I put in his uh, in his house for him. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. So I'm going to park this up here. Um, Big Daddy, you know, they, you know they, they take this equipment in. So the 7230R and the Agromaz Cultivator are going bye-bye. Um, once they do the paperwork, I should get uh, the differences, my, uh, my um, trade-in check. But I went with a 7310R and the Vader Stud uh, disc carol. The reason is, is because the, 70, uh, the 7310 um, has 300 and f no, yeah, 352 horsepower for 288,000, whereas an 8R series, an 8 series uh, tractor, uh, the introduction one, less horsepower and more money. So it's okay with me. That's all I need. Um, and I know, I know, I know. I could have just went to the customization point and swapped out the engine, but um, that doesn't happen. Uh, you, you, you can't do that. So I, I went with this. It's, it's just more uh, easier for me. So this is what we got. I'm excited about this. A uh, 7310. Awesome. Look at that. Sounds, sounds awesome. I mean, it's, it's pretty much the same thing with a different engine in it. Uh, more horsepower. But yeah, so now we got the Vodderstead uh, disc carol and the more horsepower tractor. So that is absolutely outstanding. So now I think we're set. I, th I think we're set um, until the day comes when we get more fields and then we got up the equipment. But we're set pretty good in this department. Um, I don't need to go out and cultivate that field because I think David, when he gets over there with the uh, planter, he will be able to just uh, plant right into that and uh, and go from there. Now, so we got that taken care of. The planting is, is going to be done. Um, 
we got a tractor and a disc carol that's going to work good for us so i'm excited about that look at this shiny new tractor uh wide tires i went with wide tires I, normally i like wheel weights but you can't get the wheel weight option uh as of yet so um that's okay that's okay we'll make do um green star so you got the globe on the front the green star globe so we're ready to go for uh gps yep it's all set up to go uh big pup oh i'm sorry about that mahindra uh that was my bad um uh, i'll have to i'll have to get you a fix that was not good why did i do that um so yeah so we're all set in that department now the next thing we need to do, see, I could go cultivate that, but it doesn't do any good because once uh, David gets in there, it'll take care of it. Uh, no sense uh, wasting the fuel and the labor and the hours and the tractor uh, doing that. So let's just put this right back here. Um, kind of become a uh, Vodderstead planter uh, disc carol uh, farm here at the moment. But that's okay. That's good. That is absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Back this right up in here. There we go. Good spot for that. Okay, that takes care of that. Now, the next thing we got to do is let's get let's get the show on the road with the cows, man. Let's get some cows in here. Uh, we got this cow pen over here. We got bales all set up. So what we need is we need a uh, water, a, an aqua trans of sort. We need a, um, a straw blower. We need a feeder mixer wagon. And maybe a whelk, uh, whelk, milk. Uh, transport container of such so um <laughs> back down to the store big papa c is going to be happy to see me today apparently uh i am spending all kinds of money all kinds of money cup car jockey should come back and pick that up i wonder if he's going to try to pull that with the uh, mahindra i wonder i wonder if it would pull the if it would pull that thing up the hill that would be interesting to see uh david he's still going awesome absolutely outstanding i like that that 6m that 6m can uh can pull that uh, planter pretty nice so that that worked out pretty good um so let's get down to the store and uh, we'll figure out what we need here's what we got we made some big purchases down to 138 holy cow um but then again we still have the uh, the, the check from the tractor and the uh, Agrimaz there. So we still have that coming in, plus the 14500 from Golf Cart Jockey. So here we got. We have got a milk container. I went with the stainless steel one because you got to have stainless steel when you're dealing with milk, man. Uh, that's an obvious. We got the stainless steel milk container there. We have a uh, Kuhn straw blower, the uh, Kuhn Primor 15070M, fancy name. Uh, that is a straw blower. Now, they have the little ones, but you know what? It just, um, you can get more than one bale in here. This, this thing works pretty nice. Uh, the other ones are cheap. I need 2300 bucks, but uh, yeah, I just went with this. And then I went with the, the Kuhn Knight. Big Papa C said this is a dandy one. The Kuhn Knight uh, mixer wagon. So that'll be all nice and dandy. And then we have the Joskin 7300 uh, Aquatrans. That'll get our water. And we can get that right from the pond. I had a, I had a pump installed on the pond so we are good to go in that department so now what i got to do is bring all this stuff back find a home for it next to the cows and then once i get that done um i contacted the animal dealer the livestock exchange down there they have a uh, truck and trailer that if i purchase uh, farm animals from will be more than happy to let me use so we can go down there we can get some cows and uh, get them back to the farm and get them taken care of. Uh, that will be absolutely awesome. But I'll get uh, I'll get the stuff moved down to the farm, and then we'll uh, we'll see if we can head down to the dealership. Okay, we kind of got things set up to go. I got all the stuff back here. I got the straw blower, the mixer wagon there, over there somewhere. Yep, uh, the milk container is there. Aquatrans is in place, filled up, ready to go. So we are sitting pretty good here, um, David has finished up the planting over there. He is right there. There he is. What a good job, David. Um, so he is getting this field done. That is, I feel much better. I feel a lot better that the field work is getting taken care of. Uh, made some changes here. Got some good equipment, better equipment. Now, um, cows. Cows. How can we forget about cows? We are ready for some cows. Let's uh, jump into the Mahindra. Let's head down to the animal dealership and let's just see what they got. They, like I said, they have a, um, a transport container ready for us, so we can borrow that. Uh, nice deal they have that you can uh, use their um, transport 
when you buy um, buy animals. That's absolutely outstanding. I like that idea. Uh, interesting fact, I was talking to Golf Cart Jackie. He called me the other day and said, is the uh, cedar ready? I said, yes, it is. It's sitting there waiting for you, buddy. And uh, he said he had a little issue with the egg salad. Yeah, kind of a, um, a difference in uh, pricing. So I hope he gets that figured out. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what he finds out. Uh, whoa, state jeepers, stay on the road, man. Holy cow, I got the steering. I got to get the steering looked at. Man, that's just terrible. Um, anyways, so animal dealership is just right here. We, we don't have a very long jaunt. Uh, what's your problem, buddy? Run a gas? I don't know. Um, yep, there. Oh, look at that. They got a nice shiny animal container there ready for us to use. Um, let's see, where should we park? Uh, we could probably park back there by the truck. Um, I suppose they're gonna make me. They're gonna make me park it back in that uh, same spot there. Uh, I'll have to try my backing up skills. We'll just park right here. Now, question is, uh, what kind of cows do we get? What kind of cows do we get, and how many cows can we get? Uh, let's fire this man truck up. Oh, that sounds pretty. Boy, that's shiny. You get these sunglasses when you look at this thing. Holy cow. Um, okay, let's just park right up in here. This must be it here. And let's see what we can do. Whoops, that's the, oh, look at the inside of the truck. Might as well look at that. Hey, nice, nice furnishings here. Look at that. That's nice. I like this truck. Maybe I should eventually get one of these things. Uh, I like that a lot. Uh, let's see. Animal pens. Well, all we have is a cow pasture. Oh, horse pen. We get a horse. Oh, I forgot about the horse. We gotta get a horse. Horse is a horse, of course, of course. Um, cow pasture. Um, but this is not loading. I went through this issue. Um, I think when you load, if I'm not mistaken, you got to kind of be in the truck. I think. I think that's the theory. See, then you just go. There you go. See, that's how you do it. You got to be in the truck to load the trailer. Um, Silver Star. So let's go down here to cows. We have brown cows. We have brown and white cows. We have black cows. We have black and white cows. We have Braham cows. I'm not a big fan of the Braham cows. Uh, hey, a gray horse, a pinto. Oh, I like the pinto horse. I think I'm going to buy myself a pinto horse. I am. I wonder if you can transport um, more than one animal at a time. Probably not. Uh, horses will be next time. Let's see. Cows. Um, brown cows, brown and white cows, black cows. Black and white cows are kind of the dairy cows. That's what we're going for here. Um, so let's see. 2500 bucks a cow. So we'll move that. Um, we have 138 so let's get, um, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's get ten black and white cows. And then um, brown and white cows? Brown and white cows make milk. Chocolate milk? Um, let's get uh, one, two, three. Oh, the trailer is full. So that's 13 cows. Is that all I can get in there? Um, 30,000 bucks. Hey, look, look at the cows. Uh, look at that. Hey. Hey, cows, ready to go home? How you doing, cows? Good to see you, cows. Um, cows, I'm not talking about you. Don't get excited. Um, so, we'll take this. We'll head back to the farm. Like a short little jaunt here. And we'll unload these cows and uh, come back and get some more cows. Nothing wrong with having cows. I like cows. They're tasty. This car, this car must have had a breakdown here. I tell you what, people are breaking down. Pretty, pretty uh, regularly in uh, Falls Brun today. Cement truck, now that car. I uh, hope they're all right. Uh, they probably have cell phones. Everybody has a cell phone these days. Um, even first graders have cell phones, for crying out loud. Um, there we go. Boy, this truck is kind of hard to handle. Um, I tell you what, I think we have a dandy location for our farm. We are close. Oops, I think I took off the stop sign. Uh, Close location to everything. Um, oh, gee, don't stare at the other seat when you drive. Um, hopefully, we will have um, room enough to get this truck in there. Let's see. Go kart jockey still hasn't come and got that. Um, oh, yeah, we have plenty of room up here on the plateau. I think I got to mow this grass, too. Um, I'm pretty sure we want the cows to go right there. I'm pretty sure. Whoa, whoa, jeep. 
that doesn't work real well. Uh, poor Kyle's in the back. They probably got a headache now. Sorry about that, Kyle's. Whoops. Whoops. That is quite the ledge I got there. Uh, don't go off the cliff. Holy criminy. Uh, we'll try this again. <laughs> we'll try this again. Uh, next time, we'll come around the backside. That seems to be the better of the issue. We'll come around the backside. I'm assuming we're going to put some cows in here. Uh, there we go. We can unload. Um, yeah, you just got to have the truck in there. Uh, let's see. Okay. Black and white cow. Move. Move, 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 move. Uh, confirm. There. Cows are delivered. Hey, there are cows. Oh, look at that. Hey, there's even a brown cow there, too. Uh, that is nice. How many cows we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Hey, cows. 12. Yeah, that's about right. Two brown cows. Oh, good to see you, cows. How are you? Oh, I walked into the wall. I wonder how many cows you can get into this pen, to be honest with you. Um, that I don't know. That I don't know how many cows we can get into this pen. Um, let's see. What does it say for how many animals I can get into that small cow pen? Um, cow pasture. I can get 50. Holy cow, I can still go. Holy cow, cow. Um, uh, I can still get more cows in there. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. With only 13 cows a load, it seems like I should have got more than that for this big, big honking trailer. Um, I'm going to go back, get another load. Let's see, $30,000 a load. Um, I could probably get, let's see, another 60, 90, two more loads maybe. But, um, maybe get a black, should we get a black cow? I don't want no Braham cows. I don't, I think they're kind of ugly. Um, uh, a black cow maybe? Yeah, we'll get a black cow. You know, black cow is kind of like an... Oh, hang, hang on there, David. Whoa, easy, buddy. Watch out. Um, you know, that would be like an Angus cow. That would be a dairy cow. But maybe one or two just to add in the flavor a little bit. Um, that'll be okay. But I'll get a couple more loads in there, and then we'll see how it goes. And then we got to uh, do some um, cow management. Cow management. You betcha. You. All the cows are delivered. The truck is put back in place. We have 39 cows. 39 cows, three loads, um, 13 a piece, anyway, 30, 39 cows. Yep, 39 cows. Uh, we were down to 47,000, and then we got the uh, check for the trading of the tractor and the uh, uh, disc carol. We were up there quite a bit, and then I made another purchase. I made another purchase for the farm down at the uh, dealership. Big Papa C called me and said, hey, Papa man, you got to check this out. So I bought it. I thought, you know what? We got cows, so it would come in handy. So we're going to go down to the store. We're going to pick that up. Um, it, seems, <laughs> it seems like my Manitou just kind of lives at the store, um, basically. Uh, but I'm quite happy. I am actually thrilled. Um, things have gone on today that I, I, I thought were never going to happen. Uh, we got cows. We got the field taken care of. We got this field taken care of. I wonder if Dave is out of seed. Um, I should probably give him a call on the radio here. Um, oh, I bet you he's out of seed. Um, I'll have to get him some seed here in a second. Um, but anyways, cows are here, so we're all set up to go. Uh, hello, cows. How are you, cows? So good to see you, cows. Um, yeah, they kind of got a small pen. Uh, you know, down the road we can take care of that. But, um... Yeah, so we got to get them their um, rations of what they need. Um, got to do that, and milk container sitting there. That's ready to go. Okay, everything's ready to go for the cows. Um, field is going good. David just needs a little more seed. He'll be done with that here shortly. Uh, but let's head down to the store. I'll show you what I got. And then, whoa, that was a close one. And then uh, that'll probably be it for today. And then first thing uh, next time, we can start working on the cows and get them squared away. Um, we have one thing left to get, I think, in the near future, is a uh, sprayer, because we got to do some herbicide spraying. Um, yeah, that's what we got to do. My, <laughs> I only have my own private parking spot here. Um, here we got, 
We got a Manitou. We got a Manitou MLA-T533145V+. That's a fancy name. Uh, this is going to go good with the cows. I kind of like this little thing. Um, let's take a look at it. Um, pretty fancy. What does it look like on the inside? Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's nice. This would be good for the cows. Um, I was kind of excited to check this thing out. Um, you know, got a little loader boom on it. It's kind of nice. Boom, boom. There you go. Yep. A little boom. That's kind of nice. This thing's going to come in handy. I bet you golf cart jockey's going to get jealous now that I got one of these things. Um, and then I got a bill spike and a uh, bucket for it. So this will take care of the cows. Um, I didn't want to have to be dependent on a tractor because, uh, see, I can't take both in one time, because um, uh, I didn't want to, you know, for field work and other stuff like that, I didn't want to have the tractor be dependent uh, and taking care of the animals, so I wanted something separate for that. Sixty-nine thousand bucks for this puppy, uh, but it's a nice one. I think I think it'll come in handy. Uh, they had a Kramer. Point traffic is just what. Now the other car broke down, um, like a zombie apocalypse or something going on here. But um, yeah, the other thing I'm interested in trying here is if this thing can pull the Aquatrans or the straw blower or anything else if it hooks up to it. So let's go over. Let's just check out the Aquatrans and see if it um, if that'll work. Because that, that would come in handy. That, that would be handy. I wish we had a little garage, like right about in here, you know, for this thing to go in. Maybe I'll have to look into that. Um, Aquatrans. Let's see if I can hook up to this thing. That would be handy if I can. Oh, yeah, David, I'm coming. I'm coming, buddy. I'll get you some more seed here in a second. Um, I wonder if I could put a pallet of seed on that thing. Maybe I could. Um... Let's just see if this hooks up to it. Because I can get, believe it or not, hey, look at that. It does. I can get free water down at the pond. I, oh, I already said that. I got a little pump hooked up. So the cows are getting some water. We'll probably end up having to give them some more. Hopefully I don't get stuck going down there in the little Manitou thing here. But that'll be interesting. Um, that will be interesting. Let's see. Yeah, they took that all. Um, okay. I'll have to come back and get some more water. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get David... Some seed. I wonder if I have a pallet of seed over here. Uh, I could just maybe spike the bottom of it real quick. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing this thing will go handy for is uh, maybe hauling seed around and stuff. I'll have to get a bale for for it. That would be that would come in handy. Let's see. Do I have any seed here? No. That's um, fertilized. Wait, is that seed? I gotta go look at the pallet. Is that seed? Uh, no. That's fertilizer fertilizer in line there um i wonder if i have seed i have some pallets over here i wonder if i have some seed over here so yeah so for uh a sprayer so we can do some herbicide application because we'll have to spray this over here uh i think this is seed here if i'm not mistaken is that seed Nope, that's fertilizer too. Uh, no seed. Uh, I'll have to go down to the store and get a... Uh... Boy, now they're stopped in front of my house. I tell you what, there's something strange going on here. Something very, very strange. Uh, maybe I should buy a pallet fork for it. Yeah, I'm going to go put this back, and then I'll buy a pallet fork for it. Uh, might as well have one. Let's see, where's a good place to put the... Um, I suppose... Put all the attachments right up here. Will that work out okay? Um, you know what? Maybe right right here. Right next to the bin here. Uh, put them on the concrete there so I don't lose them. Nothing else can nothing else will park right here. Uh, yeah, there we go. That'll work. But yeah, so I'm gonna head down to the store. I'm gonna get a pallet fork. Hey, there's go kart Chucky. Um uh, yeah, look at my little fancy thing, buddy. Look at this. I got a Manitou. I got a Manitou. I can jump up and down. I got a Manitou. I got a Manitou. He's not watching. He's not watching. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> look at that! Hey, buddy, good to see you. Yes! Our, our fancy handshake there. Yeah, like I said, that's our fancy handshake. Yeah, you know, some people say hi. Some people say, hey, how you doing? Some people say, uh, shake hands, you know, nod heads. No, we just jump up and down. Jump up and down like idiots. Oh, careful there, buddy. Be careful with that cedar. Look at that. Have fun with the cedar, man. That is absolutely outstanding. You'll like it. I, I, I think you'll like it. It's a, it's a fine cedar. Um, fine, fine cedar. He's probably wiring me the money now at the moment. 
So maybe uh, I'll get $14,500 in the bank. Wouldn't that be nice? That'd be nice. Hey, I got 14500 transfer. Ah, uh, boy, golf cart, Jackie, you're on top of things. But, um, yeah, kind of a productive day. I think a really productive day. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. Um, we got some new fancy equipment. We got our fields taken care of. We're going to, we'll be making money. Yeah, we are in debt. 1.185 million. But uh, we'll be making money now. We got cows. Uh, we got soybeans. We got canola in the ground. So we'll make some money off of um, that. We can sell some straw bales too if we need it. Uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. I am not worried about it at all. That is how farming goes, man. You uh, borrow, you make some, you pay it back. Kind of the kind of the routine. It is kind of the routine. Um, oh yeah, real quick. I gotta buy a um, telehammer right here in the catalog. Oh, they do have a pallet fork right there. There we go. We will buy that puppy, and then we better get ourselves a uh, big bag, a big bag of seed. Get that. We'll buy that. And we'll get this over to the planter. It'll be good to go. Uh, ooh, watch out for the Manitou. Manitou, watch out for the Manitou. Uh, I'm going to crack. A lot of bunch of Manitous around here. Look at that. Manitou forklift, Manitou side by side, and a Manitou little fancy front loader telehander thingamajabi. Um, I love this thing. I absolutely love this thing. I, I, I tell you what, I bet you a golf cart jockey was sitting there saying, man, I want one of those things. Well, what's he doing now? There he goes again. Uh, Forget something? Yeah, I think he forgot something. What's he doing? Probably getting seed. That's what he's doing. He's getting seed. You're not taking my seed, buddy. Um. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. Where did he go? Ah, oh, he's not watching me anymore. Okay, bye, buddy. Um get this to the cedar but anyways as i was saying before uh golf cart jockey came in and uh, about my cedar yeah farming's good we'll we'll, we'll 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 do just fine here just fine and dandy um uh, but anyways uh thanks for watching i sincerely appreciate it uh you guys all have a great tuesday uh i hope the week is starting out right uh please don't forget that uh if you have not checked out or seen golf cart jockey Go to his channel. The link is in my description. Uh, he is doing uh, Let's Play episodes alongside me. So you, uh, we have a lot of people that comment and say, hey, they watch both of them, um, which is absolutely outstanding. That's kind of the purpose behind it. So you can watch mine, watch his, watch his, watch mine, and you can see the different perspectives and the different storylines going on. Um, it's very cool. It is very cool. And I'm very fortunate that um, Go Kart Jockey wants to uh, partake in this little... Uh, adventure with me it's awesome and maybe uh, hopefully uh when we start getting maps and stuff out that uh we can do it again maybe we'll see but uh, he's big time youtuber now so he'll he'll be way beyond me and he'll be in the big 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 boys club but um yeah come on unload there we go uh, anyways we'll leave it there i blabbed on enough uh if you did happen to like the video give us a like we would sincerely appreciate that and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please consider doing that as well um, that is greatly appreciated. But from um, Felsburn, where we have cows, we have a Manitou, we have golf cart jockey, and all kinds of good stuff going on. Hey, that's a nice picture right there. That is a nice picture. Um, thanks for watching. You take care and uh, keep them between the ditches. So long. <laughs>